So this is where the sweep feature comes in. Sweep is really cool because uh, it allows you to do things like uh, create what you're about to see, but think like a paperclip, those kinds of things. What you do is you, um, here's what the symbol looks like. So that's the sweep symbol. And now you can see it's already finished, but sweep is in create it's right here. And you have to pick a couple things. You have to pick the profile, which in our case, uh, the profile is actually that inch across circle. All right, so you'll, after you draw it, you'll select that. And then the path is the next thing you need to select. And so this is one of the few times on, on Fusion where you can have something that's just a single line and not a um, finished profile and create something three-dimensional with it. Uh, so uh, after you have selected, like I showed there, the, um, let me double click, see if I can open this box or I'll go to create. <clears throat> There we go. Um, let's see. And uh, you're going to do chain selection. Um, and then I think everything else you'll just leave as normal. Um, yeah, perpendicular and then join is what you'll want to do. Uh, make sure it does say join. You'll click OK. And then it'll do, you know, what you see here. Uh, it's really cool. And you can imagine how you could make like a paperclip with that. Uh, you can probably think of other things you could make using the sweep feature. Really neat stuff. Uh, all right. So. Let's see the next step here. Uh, okay, so I, I started a new component at this point. Uh, I, you just do that by going to, I believe, assemble, and uh, tell the computer you wanna make a new component. All right, um, you can leave it standard. It's internal, so that means it's gonna be made inside this file. Uh, I'm not gonna make a separate file for it. Uh, and I named mine lampshade. All right, so I changed this to lampshade. And, um, it's from parent, that's fine. And then I want to have it activated because that's what I was going to work on next, which was lampshade. So you click OK. Uh, then I started my first sketch. OK, so first sketch for this lampshade. So this is uh, something I made with loft. All right. Uh, so sketch one would have been a little um, sketch made right at the end of this. All right. So uh, to do that, you know, I could uh, rotate this and just click on it and say, I want to make a new sketch right on that surface. All right. So that's how I did that. Uh, and you'll see this is actually two circles. So it's a circle that's an inch in diameter. And then I use the cool offset tool, all right, um, to uh, make it another circle that's one eighth of an inch larger than that. All right. Um, so I've probably got a video somewhere on how to use the offset tool. If you don't know how to use it, just make a second circle with the same center that's one eighth of an inch larger than this inch. Okay. Um, so that's going to represent the width of the glass. Uh, so next step was. The second, I'm oh, sorry, creating a plane for the next sketch. Okay, so you do that by going, literally, you can just click on this button and uh, pull a plane down. All right, so you click on the button and uh, you click on the surface. All right, so tell it that's where you want the plane offset from. And then you, yeah, pull that plane down. And I did a uh, distance of 10 inches. So it was 10 inches, you know, this direction. All right, uh, next. I think I made the next sketch. Here it is. <clears throat> All right. And there's that sketch. All right. So you can see that plane is 10 inches below. Um, and it, again, is a circle. Uh, this time it's an 18-inch circle in diameter. Um, and then I use the offset tool to make one slightly larger, one-eighth of an inch larger on the outside. All right. So that would be 18 and one-eighth an inch uh, in diameter. All right. They both have the same center. Uh, then I use the loft tool. Okay. So I lofted uh, this profile here specifically uh, to this profile below. All right. Uh, and I tried to get just the um, that one eighth of an inch section of it. Didn't really work. When I finished it, I looked at it from the bottom and this whole thing was just basically like a big cone uh, with the top point of the cone cut off. Um, so what I had to do is actually make a second loft, which you'll see here, um, where I just decided to loft, uh, do a loft cut, not a loft join. Uh, between this section and uh, that intersection there. All right. So in the end, um, I, I finished by mating it to the, or they, they call it uh, joining it to the top of the lampshade. All right. Uh, so I, I moved this, this whole component a little bit using the move tool. And then I clicked join um, using the assemble. All right. Uh, and I made a joint uh, that connected the center of this to the center of that. Uh, and that finished this part. All right, so that is how you get the finished lamp. And uh, happy designing.